Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas for those that celebrate Christmas. Welcome to my channel, Narc Delusion. This is the Christmas episode. Christmas Gifts for Narcissists. Christmas time and gift giving is awkward with narcissists. The holidays is a temperamental period for survivors of narcissistic abuse. That's where a lot of comparisons to normal families occur, and it can be a trying time filled with a lot of anger and verbal expressions of this. So let's jump right into the topic of this video, Christmas gifts for narcissists. This gift is the mask of self-delusion. Narcissists want to be delusional. They're imagining themselves as being in great demand, very popular. They project this vision of themselves onto you. It makes no difference that that isn't actually what you believe. They see themselves the way that they want. The way that eases their psychological discomfort, regardless of facts. So this gift, the mask of virtual reality, is perfect for the immature toddler that sees whatever it wants to see, whatever it feels like seeing, whatever it wants to say, whatever it chooses to lie about. Narcissistic flights of fancy. You think, why is this person like this? Like, they don't understand what's going on. So maybe I just need to be more clear, or I just need to explain it to them. They'll get it. They'll understand. But that's not it. They're intentionally not understanding you. Don't bother to explain yourself to people that want to misunderstand you. That's just wasting all your time and all your energy. In fact, let them think erroneously. That's fine. It's more advantageous to you and more disadvantageous to them. Let them be foolish. That's okay. Let them do it over there, though. This well-known book, Dr. Seuss, How the Grinch Stole Christmas is a favorite of many people, and for good reason. There's people like this that exist in real life, but they actually hardly improve the way that the Grinch did. At least the Grinch, at the end of the story, he learned something. That's saying a lot. A narcissist is very unlikely to learn anything or to change their ways. The moment there's an opportunity to be predatorial, you can bet that the narcissist will take their shot. You can bet the narcissist will take their chances. The crown here is on the head of a narcissist person with a crown that has a mirror on its face. It could be a woman or a man. Of course, there's narcissists of both. 
there's supposed to be more male narcissists than female narcissists. I think it's pretty close to 50-50. Male narcissists seem to have more obvious signs of narcissism. Although Amber Heard is pretty obvious. Meghan Markle is pretty obvious as well. Person with a crown that has a mirror on its face. The narcissist has no vision. It is not a charming nor a cute quality. It is an ugly, spoiled, very sour type of preciousness. The narcissist does not know themselves except for through you. The narcissist is looking at your reaction. The narcissist is examining you. The narcissist is studying you. The narcissist is OCD about you because they see themselves reflected in whatever it is that they are believing at that moment about what you are saying or what you are doing or what you are reflecting back to them. And usually it's negative. Sometimes they have delusions of grandeur. Sometimes their imagination is very negative. They think that you're doing something to them when you're not. This is the cause of much confusion. You think that you can do more, that you should try to convince them. You try to comfort them, make them feel secure, confident. But these hollow people revert back to the void. They always go back to the void. That's why what you do doesn't add up to anything. It's a zero-sum game. This notebook is an appropriate gift for the narcissist because they love to hear themselves talk. And what they say has no meaning. If you take a narcissist seriously, you will always be disappointed. Narcissists like to give you the wrong impression. This is not always intentional. Sometimes it's just because even though they're talking to you, even though they considered what they're going to say in their mind, what they say to you is still about themselves. Any advice that they give you, what they're saying, it doesn't have anything to do with you. They just say what makes their ego feel comfortable. Many times they are trying to mislead you so they can tell themselves that they're smart. They made you look stupid over some trivial little thing and they think that you're stupid. That's how their mind works. It's so pathetic, but they create these scenarios where they could tell themselves that they're smarter than you, that they outsmarted you. It's laughable that they think this way. They're like clowns. They have a mask on. They're clowns. If you take them seriously, they could steer you down the wrong path, intentionally or unintentionally. They do both. Or they could entirely misread a situation because they lack awareness about the world, reality, other people, and themselves. They could make 
any situations into a hot mess without even meaning to. Because even in situations that do not involve them, they still speak from the point of view that is solely focused on themselves. You have someone that is very myopic and they're looking at themselves, what they get out of it, how they feel about it, what makes them look good, what makes them not look good. What can they say that gives them the feeling that they want to feel? It doesn't matter that someone is asking for their advice or someone is asking for their feedback. That's all irrelevant. Never expect an honest answer from a narcissist and pretty much disregard what they say. You let it go in one ear and not the other. That's how much weight you should give it. So never take a narcissist at face value. Never take a narcissist seriously. This will save you a lot of trouble. Another gift for a narcissist would be the movie, The Matrix. That's where the premise is that the feel is the human bodies that they keep in the pods. And the agents chase after them with no empathy. The agents have absolutely no empathy. These narcissists are a different breed. These narcissists show contempt for you. The bodies are kept in the pods and used as fuel. As he said in the movie, they're used as a battery. So that's pretty similar. That movie the feel of it, of narcissistic abuse, of their predatory behavior, of how they could flip on a dime. That movie gets it right. Narcissists want to use you for their substance to feed their empty souls. Narcissists want to incapacitate you but keep you alive, to suit their agenda, to be called upon only at their convenience. They want to train you and traumatize you so you lose yourself, but they actually want you to be alive in most cases so they could continue to obtain fuel. You're their supply, you're their source, you're their energy, you're their substance. You give them what they want. Narcissists want to keep their options open in case the fuel source isn't as potent as they want. They start to flounder around looking for other more potent energy sources. The narcissist wants you to surrender to their control, just like in the movie. Those people are kept in those pods. The narcissist wants to keep you in the harem garage. That's another term that is used here on YouTube. They want to park you in the garage with their other supply sources. They want to keep you on ice in case they need you to boost their self-esteem to boost their energy. 
make efforts to learn these narcs because you'll be able to spot them pretty early. You'll see warning signs. You'll see the warning signs and begin to recognize it. It'll be flashing. Either red flags will be flashing in your face, waving in your face, or you'll see caution signs. You'll see these signs. It's worth it to learn the narcs. The best gift you can give yourself is to leave the narcissist in your past. When you get a chance, do comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit the notification bell for any new videos.